This is your medicine. Cheryl? That was Cheryl's voice. She needs me. How do I find her? Cheryl. <laughs> Let's get gaming. Hello there and welcome to Enigmatic Play, the show that captures video gaming magic from any era. I'm your host, Edward Harvey, and I'm joined with my regular co-host, Johan Chapal. Hi everybody. Right, so it was the 20th anniversary of Silent Hill uh, recently, at the end of January. Yeah, okay. Uh, so I've been thinking about Silent Hill ever since then. And I'm thinking, I need to revisit Silent Hill. Why do you want to go visit it, though? It's foggy, it's full of dangerous, mole-looking people. It's terrifying. I've just got so many vivid memories uh, when I was younger playing mm. that game. It, it was the first game that absolutely terrified me. Oh, it is nasty. And yeah. really uncomfortable playing it the first time I had it. Although I have, not played, I have not played the game since it came out. Yeah. So it's been actually about 20 years. All right, brilliant. And I, just, I decided... I'm not going to stop there, so I want to play all the Silent Hill games. What? <laughs> so over a period of time, yeah. you'll see uh, us playing all the Silent Hill games. So it might not be in a row, like we might play some other things in between. All right. But we definitely want to always come back to Silent Hill and going on to the next one and then the next one. I'm going to have to, I'm going to, have to double check my passport if I'm going to go and visit Silent Hill every time. Okay. <laughs> Right, so that is a lot of games. So am I assuming we're starting this, our journey with the very first one then? Yeah, of course. Yeah, okay. 1999 Silent Hill. All right. So let's get cracking with it. Let's get gaming. That music. Ah, oh, sorry, just that kicked in. It's that is so iconic. Mm. That is always Silent Hill. Always. Let's get going with it. Um, so, <sighs> normal? Normal. Yeah. Normal. Dung. Doesn't go Silent Hill Dung. like Resident Evil. I know, right? Thing is, though, you know, you crash, you crash a car, and then the kid just walks out. Where are just you going? Completely irresponsible parenting. Yeah. What's that? Jesus, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> I hope this is not Chris's blood. Sorry. <laughs> See, this had moving camera angles and stuff. That's, it's, that's why it's actually 3D. It's it is not cinematic. Static back. Yeah, so it actually... It was very... Oh. Oh. Getting darker. Oh. This game, I found out later, very, very influenced by Jacob's Ladder. I, well, you can totally see it now, can you? Yeah. Once you've watched it again. What's this? Yeah, so anyone who's not familiar with the movie Jacob's Ladder, check yeah. it out. Oh, it's really, really awesome, creepy movie. What is this? What is it? What's going on? What's going on in here? Ah, oh, that first image is genuinely terrifying. Oh! Ah. Oh, God! See, these are the Run. creatures that were... Um, oh, shit, there's nowhere to go. I suppose I think you're supposed to die on this bit. I think it's Go back. Part Can you the game. There you go. Just there's nowhere to go, lot. I think oh. you're actually meant to get killed by them. Oh no! Oh no! There she is. To me, that's another image. Sybil, isn't it? Yeah. She is also, a, when I think of Silent Hill, I mm. think of her as well. My daughter. I've got to find her. I've got to find my daughter. Take this and hope you don't have to use it. This is quite irresponsible from a copper. Right, so grab all the stuff. Health drink. Flashlight. Map. And the map, which is really important. You have to look at the map all the time. Because you can't bloody see a thing. And there's a winged creature in the windows. There we go. 
I remember this. It's all coming back to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's that? Huh. Radio. What's going, What's going on, on with that radio? radio? <laughs> did, did you say radio twice? Yeah. Huh. Radio? Uh -oh. oh, shit. Shoot him! Or exit. Shoot him or exit. Oh, no! Shit. How do I aim? Shoot. Up. Oh. They're hard to... Oh, this is... This looks like... Really hard to control, actually. Do you need a health... Grab a health drink or something. No, that's the map! Yeah, you're on red already. Alright, good. Shoot him. I can't fucking see where, I, where I'm aiming. It's the fog! It's the deadly fog! Oh. And you're dead. Oh, fucking hell. Uh, okay. <laughs> Maybe you're not supposed to beat that guy. No, you are. It's just that you got. we've got to get used to the... Eight. Oh, hang on. What's this say? Press oh, L1 quick. or R2 simultaneously to that, have... That helps, because I was trying to turn around manually. I, f I forgot stuff like this. Anyway, you have a go. It's been forever, hasn't it? Run! So, get, get the radio. I'm trying to. I'm trying to! It's not late! Because it's, it's the tank control in this. are shocking! All right, come on. Come on, I'm going to fucking... Are you, are you getting it? Yeah! yeah! Good lad. To this place. Well, I just, I just kill whatever the fuck that is. Where could Cheryl have gone? Yeah, okay. Well, where would have Cheryl gone? If I was a tiny little, girl, if I was a tiny girl, where would I be? I guess I'll have to check that alley again. Why go back? <laughs> oh, even though it's cool, this camera movement is actually quite sick. Mm. It's, probably, it's probably the point. <laughs> Whoa! It is clunky to control, isn't it? It's a bit, it's a bit clunky movement-wise. I know, possibly. Here's the thing: is like we all bullets. Ooh, double the amount of bullets. Yeah, I want to take them all. I'm a hoarder for bullets. What's that on the floor there? The paper. Let's have a look. What is it? To Ooh. school. There we go. Is it the Cheryl sketchbook? <gasps> Hmm. She's at the school. <laughs> I love that. Quality voice acting. So Perfect. the school is all the way down there. Oh, fuck. How am I going to manage that? That's a bit of a distance, actually. Right, so. I need to figure out which direction to go. Well, if you get to the end of this road and then check your map. Okay, so. Well, yeah, the best option would be just to go that way yeah. and all the way down. But... Let's just see where's blocked off first. Yeah, I'm gonna say, why well, am I gonna get the feeling it's not gonna be that easy? So now, if we go this way, I think so, anyway. Yeah, let's see if this is not blocked off. Just let's, Oh, hang on, there's something to collect there, look. Or we'll look at. All the papers. Is it more from the sketchbook? Doghouse, Dog Levin Street. Street. Oh, what now? What now? Yeah. yeah, you're dead. Good. <laughs> Don't waste all your bullets on dirty yeah, mutts. There you go, look, doghouse. Ugh, it's bloody and gross. Let's house see. key was hidden in a doghouse. Take it. Yes. So I'm guessing that's for this house. Let's go into this house. Use the house key. These, these people must have been gun crazy to just left all this ammunition around all well, over Well, it is America. It is true, but, you know, not not everyone's that much of a gun nut. Anything else? No, I can't get that. I loved it when there was like, two neatly placed on a park bench. Next I season. know! <laughs> the refrigerator is empty. <laughs> Didn't even check it. He just knows. He's like... I know it's empty. Oh, naggy. Mmm. <laughs> oh, naggy. Right. So... 
Yeah, I think that back door has got multiple locks we have to get keys for. There are three locks. I'm cool. Getting, what does that... There's something on the map, I think, on the wall. Okay, so... Keys for Eclipse. Right, so you have to go to all these places. Something is written on the map hanging on the wall. Copied it to map. Oh, so that's the direction. It was that that arrow, that line going through the alley mm -hmm. and then the circle where we need to get to. Okay. So somewhere down here is a key. Is that what it means? So, is it, do you think it's in the middle, that, that junkyard? Maybe. I don't think it's going to be... It's not going to be literally, end. yeah. No, right, so I've been all the way through now. So I think th there was a junkyard, wasn't there? Yeah. Or something, like a gated area. I think mm. it's probably in there. Let's get there, try. But you can hear, like, the radio, so that always kind of insinuates something. There it is. There's going to be some terrible, horrible monster coming out in a minute. There is one. A dog's, dog's head. head. Key. It just... Why would the key just be randomly left there and there's a map to leave it there? So, are we now on that road now? Yeah, so we just turn and now we're down Elroy Street. Maybe the end. Maybe. Ah, winged things! Be down here? Yeah! Oh, you just ran through that. Ooh. Looks like there's a health bottle there as well. You might as well get that. I'm kind of glad your inventory is kind of bottomless. Must be another one. Oh! Oh, it's in the car. Yeah. King of the Lion. And more bullets. For the, so, fact that, for the fact that we're being cowards and running away from everything, it's kind of Yeah, kinda well, useful. we're doing some fighting when we're in the buildings. Yeah. So we've got all three now. Yeah, easy. So now we just have to get back to that house. The one with the dog house. There we go. Uh-oh. Right. Might as well save so you don't have, we don't have to do that again. Yeah. He <sighs> looks like he's fed up. Well, you know, he's kind of maybe a little bit fed up. You know, he's been running around gang running around all over town just to get three fucking keys for a door while being chased by demonic peep things. One, two, three. It's opened. What? Oh, is it going to the dark world again? It's getting dark again. Do we need the, can we, we need to equip the flashlight then? What's going on? Ah, here we go. <laughs> Funny squeak. <laughs> oh, it must be nearly there. Must be. I suppose we'll see it when we get there. It's yeah, quite big. Right. That's, that's crossing, so the school must be there. All right. School there bus. we go. School bus. Uh oh. That way? Yeah, there we go. Oh, just slamming! Right, we're in the school! Okay! God, it's so creepy in here already. Mm. It's just said quiet, isn't it? Schools in general, like after dark, always look kind of creepy to me. Oh, someone is messy. Written in blood. Twelve. A place with songs and sound. A silver guidepost is untapped in lost in lost tongues, awakening at the ordained order. All right. All right. Spooky. It's also written in blood. Get get a pen. Five o'clock. Darkness that brings the choking heat. Flames render the silence, awakening the hungry beast. Open time's door to beckoning prayer. All right. This is to do with the puzzle, isn't it? It's five, ten, and... It's also written in blood. Somebody's get a pen. Ten. Alchemy laboratory. Good. 
good in an old man's palm. The future's hidden in his fist. Exchange for sage's water. I hate riddles. <laughs> Right, so I'm sure that's going to be for a puzzle later, but uh, we can look back at them later on yeah. we, when we need them. Okay, so now we're in the back room. Oh, that's a. Oh, that is charming. A picture, picture of, a of a door. So in the nightmare world, I think that is actually a door. Yeah. Right. So should I just go straight? Ah! Oh, the weird, creepy children thing. Oh, they sound terrible. They sound like they sound like they're snorting as they're laughing. Like, mm. <laughs> right. So, Ooh. ah! Kill the mole Shit. people! Oh my god! Kill the mole people! I know originally they're supposed to be like children with knives, but the mole people are also kind of creepy. Clobber! There we go. Are they down? Right down for the count. Nah! Oh no! He's grabbing your butt! <laughs> Wallop! You stamp on him. Yeah. Kick him right in the balls. I remember the magic stomp. If, if, you, if they're not quite dead, yeah. it completely finishes them off if you stamp on them. Yeah. There's a mole guy in here. Mm. I can hear him. Hear the. Sen I can sense him with the radio. <laughs> Oh, that's creepy. Oh, that's adorable. Just hit him. <laughs> Let's try everywhere downstairs before we go upstairs. Yeah. Door's jammed. Door's jammed. Door's jammed. Door's jammed. Already jammed. How many jammed doors? Oh, there, there, there's a door. Hey! I think you're right. Yeah, here we go. Oh, God. Uh. See, this game, sometimes it has things that are just in there just to creep you out. Like, there might not be any items in here to collect or anything. It's just. Mm. You go in there and something creeps you out. See, I can't go in the stalls or anything, but you hear that weird crying. Mm. Right. Okay. Let's try going to the next corridor ahead. Because I think there's a, there's a music room and a locker room, so somewhere there might be useful. Oh, this is the music room. So the piano's locked. So I'm assuming it's going to have something to do with it. It's written in blood. <laughs> Fucking hell. A tale of birds without a voice. First flew the greedy pelican, eager, f eager for the reward, white wings flailing. Then come a silent dove, flying beyond the pelican, as far as he could. Okay. A raven falls in, flying higher than the dove, just to show that he can. A swan glides in to find the perfect spot next to another bird. Finally comes a crow, coming quickly to a stop, You're yawning and then napping. Who will show the way? Who will be the key? Who will lead the, to the silver reward? Right. I'm assuming it's like, put the birds in the right order, mm. kind of thing. I'm trying to remember the puzzles. So, try, it's been in the music room, the piano's there. So try that locker room. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is creepy, I remember this. What's that? Ah, it's really weird. Oh, the classic cat jump scare. Oh, just a cat. Oh. <laughs> that's, that's kind of sad, actually. Nothing inside. Well, we knew there was a cat in there. Hmm. Nothing right, useful. So I don't think there's anything else in here, is there? Is it literally just there just yeah. to show you that we are willing to do cat murder in this game? Probably. Ah, yeah. more people! 
Give him the stomp. Right the in the nuts. Right in the nuts. Right, so, go through here. Yep. More, more people. Ah, right in your butt. Kick him. There we go. Kick him. No, I think there's some more down the corridor. Right, what's in the other classrooms then? What is that noise? I heard like a... Behind. There we go. More bullets. We are kind of now properly ramboing the shit, so we're yeah. going to need some more. Okay. Uh, what else is in here? I don't think there's anything else in here. At least nothing stands out. No. Okay, so I'll just. I want to have some of my crisps. Yeah, you, you take over from a minute. I'm just going to have some of my crisps. I'm hungry. All right, let's see. Is there anything? I'm always want to double check the drawers for like the, the front desk. Nothing useful here. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's anything useful in the class. So let us roll. Where are we? All right. So the next step is the library. I'm so, I'm so sorry. Where can I find the Agatha Christie books? Oh no! Ah, stop nibbling my crotch! There we go. Okay, so we're here now. Oh, the chemistry lab. Oh, spoopy. Okay. Oh, look, a severed hand or something like that. Hello. Statue of an old man's hand. The fish shut tight as, it's, as if never to let go. Can I... Uh, am I going to need... Okay, can I not pick it up? Looks like I can't pick it up. We now know we have a hand thing. Statue of hand. So now we need the equipment room, which might be more useful. That might actually be where you have to do something with the hand. Mm. What is that? Distilled water, no reason to take it. What? Okay, what's that? Chemical! Yeah. Of course I'll take it. What is that sound? Oh. What? Is that, a, is that a shotgun? Where? That? No, no. that's a... Uh, I mean, look, I know this place is gung-ho, but you never have a shotgun in a school. Not that. They're not that morbid. What is that sound? I'm really... I know it's nothing, but it's also something, and I don't like it. It's random, creepy music. Just because it fucking can. All right, let's go back in the lab. Let's see if I can use the chemical. It's just fucking breathing and I don't like it. Right, I don't think we might have to use it like now, but let's see. Let's try it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because it's acid, isn't it? Yeah. 
Well, they should make that clear. It just says chemical. That could have been anything. Oh, the medallion. medallion. You always get medallions in these horror games. I know. And it's always like a way to open a secret compartment or something. Mm. Like, who designs these places? Okay, let's go up the stairs. Let's see what's on, the, I guess, the top floor. Third. Yeah, it's top floor now. All right. Door's jammed. Right, so that is a secret door that we have to try and solve. So now, where do we go next? This is, this is the, I do remember that this got really complicated because you had to find certain things in certain classrooms or certain places, but you have no idea where to find half Locker of them. Locker rooms have got a question mark. Is that something more we're going to explore? Yeah, I guess so. Let's go to the locker room. Uh, let's go to the locker room then. Also, in the courtyard, there was a clock tower. Yeah, that's true. I think you might need, like, to go in there. Yeah, so if you check the map, it's in that corner, look. Oh, fudge, right, I'll just run, run! Fucking mole people! Okay. So you need two medallions, look. You got one. You got one, we need to get the other. Golden sun. So is can that, you... Is that it? Yeah. I thought that would be it. Okay. Oh, mole person right behind me. Yeah. That's one. Now what? Let's, uh, let's have a check. We need to investigate where the other... We need to find the other medallion. Yeah, and it's to do with... There's a puzzle to do with the piano, isn't there? Yeah. But we need to know... We need to actually unlock the piano, I think. We need to get into those classrooms. <gasps> okay, I know what to do. We have to go upstairs, go down, and go down the stairs the other way. Oh, is that... An, is, oh, this is the boiler room. Yeah. How can we activate something in here? Well, I get the feeling you will have to activate something here. It won't be fun. Oh, what's that? There is a switch. Do you want to press the button? Nothing yeah, here has have happened. Okay. So. Oh, do we have to do something with the valves? Oh, I can't move them. Don't know what it's for. Better leave them alone. Yeah, because I can't use the valves until it's working, obviously. Yeah. Let's go up to this floor first, second floor. Yeah. Let's see if there's anything we've missed. Try the piano music room again, see if there's anything we can do. Oh, it's opened. Oh. Just open on its own. Because it's fucking creepy like that. There's blood on some of the keys. Does that mean anything? Yeah, it does. Check the piano? Yes. So we have to do them in a certain... Yeah, we have to look at the puzzle again, the clue puzzle. Yeah. The clue over here. And so we don't have to keep... Let's take a picture of this as well. All right, here you go. We don't have to keep... We don't have to keep doing it. First flew the pelican. First flew the greedy pelican, eager for the reward. White. So basically, it's talking about the order. So, first flew the greedy pelican, eager for the reward. White wings flailing. Then silent dove, flying beyond the pelican as far as it could. Okay. Is it the raven with... flies in, flying higher than the dove, just to show that he can. The swan glides down next to another bird. I'm just thinking about the blood pattern. Is that to do with it? I'm thinking it has to do something with it. Okay, so which one of the notes? Okay. Oh, I think I might know. That one, then that one, then the last one, and then that one. That one? No, no, the one, the one, no, no, that, the next, no, 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 that one. <laughs> okay, that didn't work. Uh, let's try this again. How many birds are there? That's a good question, actually. Okay, uh, log me on that one. Let me figure out how many birds are there. Were there five birds? So, there was a pelican, a pelican, a dove, a raven, a swan, a crow. So, then there's five notes. So, what are the five notes? One. Two. Three. Uh, that one. 
No, not that one. That one? No, it's that one. No, it's that one. Okay. First flew a pel greedy pelican, eager for the reward, white wings flailing. Also, the, wh the, the white is meaning like the white of the Notes. note. Yeah. Okay, so okay, it's so a white bird. So that yeah. means the first note's a white note. White bird's wings flailing. The only thing I can think of is must be one of these two because it's between two white notes. Um, then came the silent dove. That's white. Yeah. Uh, flying beyond as far the pelican as far beyond as it could. So it goes that way. It's the right. furthest note. So I need to figure out which one it is. Then a raven's a blackbird. Flies flies higher beyond the dove. Then a white note, because it's a swan, glides next to a peaceful spot next to another bird. Right. That's another white note. And then yeah. the last one is a crow, which would be a black note. Yeah. So oh. go to right to the end, then that one, then that, yeah, that one. Swans are on white. Glides next to a white, and to, flies next to another bird. So we... This one or this one? Another bird, so I'm gonna go that way. F and then. But it didn't do, does, do you think that means next to a bird that we've already come across, it, like the other notes? So if, that, if that's the case, then we'll have to change the notes thing. Mm. Where does the pelican start? Finally comes the crow, so we need another black one at the end. You know, what I can think of it's a silent dove, which could possibly mean that it could actually be a note, a note that doesn't say anything. I know we're onto it, but I have no idea where to start with this. Unless this has absolutely nothing to do with it. But it does feel like it's something to do with it. Let's have a go again. Unless, it's a unless it's actually the complete opposite of what we're doing. And it's all the ones without a sound. The tales of the birds without a voice. You could be onto some. <laughs> oh my sweet Jesus! We'll be doing it backwards. So which ones can we not hear? Okay, I think I know what this is. I think I know what it is. I think I know what it is. There. 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 Yay! Fuck finally. yeah! <laughs> finally, fucking hell! <laughs> right. Using the old noodle. That was using the old caboodle. That took way too long than it should have been. Uh, uh, oh. Do you know what you? It, may, it makes me feel really stupid because I, my like, I must have been like, sort of maybe sixteen at the time, yeah. and I cracked it. Like. Yeah, it's like oh, we got it. But now we're like, oh, Jesus Christ! I think it's like the birds without a voice. Of course, it's the not. We say, oh, it has to be the one with the notes. No. That's why we went wrong so, like, many times. Because I think we're trying to play a fucking tune on it. Yeah, it's like you don't play a tune, you play the ones without the tune. Which made more flippin' sense. Okay, so. Right, I have to head all the way down. Okay. Ah, flippin'. Mole people. Moleman. <laughs> fucking Moleman. <laughs> Hans Moleman in Silent Hill. Ah! <laughs> oh dear. Right. Okay. So this is gonna. Transport, transport us into into the clock the, tower. Hopefully. Yeah, the the. But I think it's going to change. Well, you have to click on it to use it. I think. Oh yeah, I am. It's, I'm not facing it. Ah! Oh, you'll have to kill them. I think. What a They're bunch of knobs. Oh, what a bunch of knobs. Right, I should be able to use it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah! Silver moon. <laughs> Tower door is locked. The hands have stopped at five o'clock. Now five o'clock. Now we can fucking. It's all to do with time. We should have fucking known. Now we can go to the boiler room. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's on for some reason. Also, if we'd gone to look at the clock tower beforehand, it would have told us what time it was. And then we could. Oh fuck's sake! We're too dim. All right. So now what? Now we've got a bloody valve puzzle. Okay, don't know what it's for. Oh! What happened? Oh, there you go. Oh. <laughs> Didn't oh. torture. Oh, fuck's sake. It appears to be broken. 
All right, so that's working. So what has that done? Just trying to think of what it would have changed. Maybe there's a door open. Maybe there's some lights. Maybe there's something. What areas have we been that would need, like, power? Or... Which place has needed power? Uh, let's see. Um, we need the power. Maybe, maybe it's the door in the... Maybe it's a courtyard door. Maybe it's the uh, actual um, flipping door to the clock tower, maybe. I'm going to run with that, I think. Because at the minute, I don't, I'm not... I'm really... Oh, now that you've turned the boiler on? Yes. Yeah. Like, if... Uh, okay, I hope that's the answer, because if it's not the answer, then we're really stumped. Well, we've just unlocked it with the medals. We should be able to get in there now. Yeah. But it needed power. <laughs> we need the power. You need the power. There we go. God, we're dim. Right. Let's head down this. Let's head down these creepy, creepy oh, the sirens. Oh no, nightmare world. Right. So oh. I think we have. To, I reckon we have to gonna have, have to fight a boss, or we just now. Oh, what are these things? Ah, oh, what are these things? Keep out. Well. You're never gonna let you know, that's never stopped me before. So now we're in the other dimension. Now we're in the nightmare world of the school, there is nothing. Oh hi. Where am I? Where am I? Everything's so bleak. Have I been here before? So everything's gonna be slightly different now. Yeah, it's Nightmare World of School, and that is no fun. Satan! Illuminati confirmed. I don't remember this being here before. <laughs> Dead casual. Oh, I didn't. Oh, you know, fucking demons. Ah! The music's gone really fucking good. No! 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 Oh, God. All right, well, okay, okay, okay. Just get all my bearings. Now it's got. it's been reset. Fuck. All right, so we now know we've got something haunted here. So let's see. Let's let, let's go to every room. You know, every new room's gonna be flipping nightmare fuel now. Hi. Oh, look at the torture room. Oh, you're fun. Rubber, Rubber ball. ball. A headless doll is stuck to the wall. Oh, that's nice to know. Look at all these lovely, lovely things. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I remember when I first went into the nightmare world. Yeah. When I played it when I was younger, I just thought everything looked so. I'd never seen anything like that before. Mm. In, you know that in the environments, so I just thought it was, is that this is the de depiction of hell? It's really, really creepy. Yeah, as you look at it going this. So, so is hell just basically rusty walls and unsanitary? You know, like unclean places, which could totally be for some germaphobes. Uh oh. Whoa, this makes more mole people. What? No, giant. Ah, no, not these things. Oh, I hate Stamp these. Stamp them. Just come on. Kick them. Kick them. Don't let me kick them. Just don't let me kick them. No, just, just shoot them. Shoot them. Why? It's not doing anything. It's just being a nuisance. Hello. Right, where are we? There's nothing in that room other than cockroaches. Oh, uh, they're just cockroaches. Oh, we, we basically went to the hall. So, classroom. Oh, bloody lockers. Oh, okay, something's here. There's a picture card with a key. The cards are scattered everywhere. Fucking mole man! Oh fuck! Oh the mole man! Oh Jesus Christ! Okay. Now I have to use a pistol on them. Yeah, I'm gonna have to gun him. I'm gonna have to gun him. Oh health. Oh, oh more health. Oh more health! Motherfucker, get out of here! Okay. 
fucking all oh, these mole are, men. These mole men are bitches. I'm trying to run out of the way so I can aim at you. You're not letting me aim. Ah, okay, fine. Here we go. God, you are the worst. Have to go right, go right in the other corner of the room or something, and then aim. I think if you press left and right, it aims. And I'm dead. Okay. Did we save? Will it continue? Do we have to go all the way back to a checkpoint? Who knows? Who knows? Oh, it's not bad. Ah, oh, relief. Let's get the pink rubber ball. Which we don't know why it's there for. Headless doll. Just stuck to the wall. Just be acting out. Oh, coo. I remember there's a slight, there's a 60s song that's uh, about the analogy, it's like a metaphor for rubber ball and it goes like, yeah. rubber ball come bouncing back to me. Oh dear. <laughs> and it's obviously talking about a woman that used to come bouncing back to him. But it's just well, like, like a music. rubber band. It's like, yeah. <laughs> it's uh, really funny. <laughs> okay, there's a lobby that has cool shit in it. Yeah. Give me the bullets, man. The bullets. Need all the bullets. If I have to, I have to fight all those weird mole people. That's the only thing I can do. God, it always aims at the wrong fucking one, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, that's why. Because we're going in there with red health. It's because on top of that, on top of that, though, it's because we're going. All these mole men just really want a piece of our meat. Like they, they just are oh, thirsty motherfuckers. You see the going up the, the, the you see the going after your butt like uh oh the other door there's another door on the other end Rad! no I can't is that's the controls that is I was trying to go fucking straight and it was just going that way okay fine, I don't fine. think there's anything in that room more than three mole men so fucking mole men now we're here okay so there seems to be something there that's blocking off yeah that way so but that is that a uh, it's locked. So you gotta go to that door then. Oh, hello! Look at the torture pit! Fuck off, you twats! Oh, God. Oh, they're good. They give you, like, full health, I think. Nice. Right from danger. Right. Nice. Uh, right, so. And that's the main entrance, so. Yes, yeah, so those are locked. See, that is gonna be a door now, isn't it? In yeah. The, in this room. Hello! Oh, okay. I love what you're doing with this. As I tell you, chains now. Oh, improvements. What? Is this the door? If it is, there's no keyhole or even a knob. If I push it, what is this? <laughs> In the center of the door, is it? What is it for? Ah! It, could it be the picture card? It could be. That's... Yeah. Use it. Slide picture card into slot. Okay, do we go in now? There we go. Uh oh, okay, so now we're on the other side. Yeah, we're here, basically. I think, uh, I, I know we've said that a big influence is uh, Jacob's Ladder, but I think it must be Clive Barker as well. Oh, totally. Like this Hellraiser, is... like. Oh, 100% this yeah. is inspired by things like that as well. Oh, quite a few things on the ground. Handgun. Shotgun! Yes! You're telling me there's going to be a shotgun in school then? Okay. In the nightmare world? Yeah. Oh, stuff up there. Oh, quite a few things. Handgun bullets. So many fucking bullets. Telephones. I can't use the phone. Can't use the phone right now. Right, that's everything. Yeah. Right, so we need to go out of this door. Yeah. Oh. I knew one of the phones was the thing. Always with a creepy phone! I thought that was our thing. Daddy? Help me. Daddy? Where are you? 
Cheryl! Cheryl! Cheryl? That was Cheryl's voice. She needs me. But how do I find her? Cheryl. <laughs> <laughs> I actually sometimes honestly imagine that she's performing it like a fucking like he's performing it like William Shatner. Yeah. It's like I need to find Cheryl. <laughs> Another door? Yeah, every bit of dialogue now, if we do it like Shatner. It's locked. <laughs> Cause I know it could, it's locked. <laughs> I could agree. Okay, locker room. Okay. Oh yeah, because that was that where was we new, thought yeah. something was gonna happen in the nightmare world. Yeah. So, this one. This one. Do we go into... Now we go into the locker. The the dancing locker. They used to have a dead cat in it. Uh-oh. Last time this was a dead cat. Now it's something far worse. Tension. Nothing is on. <laughs> Oh, no, there's something definitely has to be in there. No, there's, okay, there's nothing in here, but it's definitely something happening. Ah! Oh, shit. Fuck it on a stick. All right. Oh, pick he's it up. A, he's got a key. He's got a key. Library reserve key. Okay, so we know how to get in there. So is it that one? Yeah. Yeah, that's one. Use the key. Oh, is there anything? Uh, what? That's fucking creepy. What? No! No! No, thank you! Don't like it! Oh, God. What, where, where was that coming from? It sounded like a knocking at the door, didn't it? We've Hello! Got, and we've got to actually go through that door. Yeah. Just... Ooh, a book. Hearing this, the hunter armed with bow and arrow said, I will kill the lizard. <laughs> but upon meeting this opponent, he held back, taunting. Who's afraid of a reptile? <laughs> For this, the furious lizard hissed, I'll swallow you up in a single bite. <laughs> then the huge creature attacked, jaws wide open. <laughs> this was what the man wanted, Calmly drawing his bow, he shot into the lizard's gaping mouth. Effortlessly, the arrow flew, piercing the defenseless maw. And the lizard fell down, dead. Hi! Okay. Hello. Oh, oh, this is new. Oh, oh, I, I, I see this is occupied. I'm so sorry. Ugh. Oh, I have to get that something, don't I? Shotgun! Yeah! Oh, fuckers. And I have to get whatever the fuck that is. The hanging body. The hanging body. This is sick. So sick. All right, is there anything else? What is else? this? What is this? Okay, that's everything. Okay, so... Am I, was I literally just to get the shotgun? Yeah. Right. Yeah, I'm thinking it's stairs all the way up. Yeah. Let's go up to the top and see what's up there. Might as well. You're pleasant. Oh! Where are we? Oh, we're on the roof. This looks perfectly safe. What's that? Blood. Oh, do I have to move it? No. No, check the other side. Oh, oh the thing now. Is it? There it is. There's a hanging key. It's just out of Oh, I need something to... I need a claw or a hand or something. Mm. Ooh, a valve. There's a damaged valve. Do you want to open it? All right, drainage valve. Oh yeah, fill it up. Fills the water up. 
Mm. I can pick up the key. Oh, the key's gonna go somewhere else though, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It drains into the wrong hole. Maybe I could plug it up somehow. Oh, rubber ball. Yeah! Now we're thinking we're portals. Alright, let's see. So, yeah, put a ball in there. Let's put the ball in there, Mother Trucker. Use. Yeah! Using the old noodle. Now it'll go all the way across. Yeah. See, why couldn't the riddles be like this? Put a ball in a hole. Put a ball in a hole. We win. The fucking <laughs> raven pelican bollocks. Oh, man. I still feel really fucking stupid for not getting that first try. Also, we went straight past the clock, clock tower, didn't look at the time on it and stuff, and there was this whole thing about time. Yeah, there was a whole... Oh, good God. I thought it was like, why does it, it say five o'clock? It's a game. Like, why does it say five o'clock? The key went down the drain. Okay, so that means it's appeared somewhere downstairs. Yeah. Oh, I've got an idea. What? Maybe the key is in the courtyard. Like the drains in the courtyard. Oh, maybe. You mean like in the guttering, you know, maybe? Maybe indeed. It's unlocked. Yay! Right, so, so we just check the edges of, of Maybe there maybe there's like a, a gutter or something. And no, no blood fountain. Um Yeah, there we go. That's using the old noodle. Classroom key. Right. So, so which, which classroom's locked? I think it was near the library, wasn't it? Uh, uh, there was one classroom that was locked. That one locked. Near the library. Yeah, so we've got to go to the library. Library time! So this is the classroom, eh? Yeah. Use the classroom key. Right, because there's a fucking key here, this there has to be something here. Otherwise, yeah. it would have been I a think complete total waste. On one of the chairs, there might be something. Or, no, wait a minute. It's the way to get down to the basement. Yeah. So, let's check out the let's check out the boiler room. Uh, I can feel the heartbeats, which is not helping things. Hello. You're gross. What's this? Oh. Yeah, I think the, I think the uh, vibration of the heartbeat is related to your health, so it might. Oh, there's lots. Usually, when it gives you lots of stuff, it means it's going to be a boss. Oh, great! Okay, hold up a second. Okay, I'm going to start turning and see what happens. All right. Oh, so maybe we just have to fiddle with it until we get it. I guess so. Right. And keep swapping over to try and get the right ones. I guess. There we go. Oh God. Yes! Sacrifices! Hooray. Oh fuck. There we go. Oh God. Oh, oh God. It's kind of big and stuff, but I thought it, the music would have been in, intense. Ew. Oh, wait till it, it's gonna open its mouth. Yeah. Then shoot it in the mouth. That is that basically all that thing was? Whoa! Oh, that was gross. Oh, so I guess you shoot it a few times, then it opens its mouth. We killed it. Yeah. Just killed whatever the fuck that was. That was fucking easy. <laughs> oh, but Siren Town. We're in Siren Land. Oh, it's gone dark. I don't like this. Oh, God. Oh, hello. 
lesser. Yeah. What was that? What was that? Who Good in God. the hell was that? <laughs> Come on! Voice acting! There we go. The K Gordon key. Okay, so... I hear a... A church bell, I think. Also, oh, it's about... But who is rigging it? Right, so we're nearly done. Well, uh, yeah. All right, let's get out of here. And now we can go for the front exit and then head towards the church. It's unlocked. Right. I think we can call it a day. Yeah, good grief. So that was 1999's Silent Hill, the first one, the, the one of the scariest games of like the PS1 era. Definitely, definitely, definitely from the PS1 era, and you, I forgot about the PS1 era graphics, for example. Yeah, um, really primitive 3D. Even in, even in primitive 3D, it still had some creepy moments, so at least yeah. it worked. It was all about atmosphere there, so at yeah, least that worked. Definitely, uh, and we played... A big, uh, a bit. The first section of the game, which is the school area, uh, it, I thought we'd find it a lot easier than we did. <laughs> but we didn't because I forgot how obs how obtuse the puzzles were. Yeah. And how and, and just and just how and just also just getting used to the controls again because that was a bit. Oh odd god! The, the first encounter with the flying guy, I was just like ah. Ridiculous. You're like, how do I turn? I don't know how you turn. You turn. Yeah. Um, but the mole men, <laughs> bloody mole men. Do you know, this is, this is, uh, the annoying thing is, in the uh, American version, yeah. and in also in the demo, they were called the grey child, that yeah. enemy. And it was a, it was a, it, it looked like a child that was completely grey and had a knife instead of claws. So, in other words, there was a little boy holding a knife going, ah, 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 yeah. ah. Uh, School area is probably one of the most memorable areas of mm. the first game. Yeah. Uh, the second game, which we'll go on to at some point soon, is probably the hospital. Because yes. the nurses are now iconic. Yeah. yeah. So, yep. Then, and then afterwards was like the third and the fourth and then some of the weird spit off games. There's so many Silent Hill games. We might be here a while. So yeah, but I'm looking forward to it because I've not actually played them all. Uh, anyway, uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, we've got loads more cool content coming up this uh, month. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you've liked this video, don't forget to hit the like. And if you want to see more from us, hit that subscribe. Yeah. See you next time on Enigmatic Play. Keep on gaming. Woo!